In this practical example, you will draft an axle, based on design intent. This saves a great deal of time in defining design geometry and editing or changes in the drawing. Let's start our example. The first step is to define layers, which will be part of the design. You need to create two layers. One is named Outline and the other is Center. Define the thicker line for the outline layer. Then define a red dashed and dotted line for the center layer. Now after the layer definitions are concluded, let's begin sketching the geometry, but not paying attention to dimensions yet. Before you start sketching the bodies, there are options for doing this, sketching the entire geometry or only half of it. It is quicker and more practical to apply the half geometry method, so we will use this way. Observe. After finishing the element sketching, use the mirror tool to finish the geometry like this. Notice, no dimensions are specified yet. You perform this process using the dimensional constraint tools. But before you define these dimensions, you must insert geometric constraints. You can identify all elements which are laid out vertically or horizontally in order to analyze the sketched geometry. This layout is based on the center and then all lines are parallel to it. Apply the relationships, as shown here. Now that we have defined the geometric constraints, let's start dimensioning. The larger diameter is twice the axle body diameter. As the small diameter is three times smaller than the largest diameter. So you can apply the following expressions to dimensioning. This type of dimensioning links the dimensions. This enhances the redimensioning process of elements, making it faster and more practical. Notice how, when you change the value of diameter D1, the diameter D2 is updated, and then D3 is updated as well. This makes a cutting edge difference in a parameterized drawing. When any one parameter is changed, the entire drawing is updated automatically, saving you time and improving your performance. So, as you have studied in this example, design time saving begins by defining the design intent. Time saving also includes correct application of geometric restraints, as well as links to add dimensional expressions. So, as you can see here, it is much easier to resize a parameterized drawing.